No, please, no. No, 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 please, please, no! Hello, American citizens. I just killed Jay Jerison, the reporter for Daily News. His death will come before many others, because tomorrow night, as you all know, is Halloween. This day is mine. This is not a threat, but an official warning that tomorrow I'll be out for murder and vengeance. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh my gosh, did, did I literally just say Venegeans instead of vengeance? I'm like, what? Okay, what? Vengeance. Vengeance. So, like, do you have dyslexia? <laughs> Seriously, guys, uh, let's just let's keep it going. Venegeans. <laughs> Actually, seriously, guys, we need to do this. We don't have much time. We don't want to upset Jason because then he'll want Venetians. <laughs> okay, you got me. I'm human. I have made a list of the people that I'll gruesomely kill. This is not a short list I'm talking about. This is a long, long list. Okay, why do I literally sound like Santa Claus right now? Like, <laughs> why am I putting people on the naughty list? Like, uh, what? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm Santa Claus! I'm gonna kill all the good girls and boys in the world! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me grab my phone! Oh, this is uh, so my mask is looking so dirty right now! Wait, do we have like a sack or something he can hold? Just say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, okay, send that to me, send that to me! This is not a short list I'm talking about. This is a long, long list. If you don't lock your door tomorrow night, I will come to your home and I will kill you. Uh... <clears throat> I will murder every single one of you. I am death and I will. Did you just shit yourself? <laughs> Claire, <laughs> control yourself. Oh my gosh, that was not Claire. Next time <laughs> wear your diaper shoes. That wasn't me. There are fluids dripping down your leg right now. Oh. Guys, we're running out of time. We have like 10 oh, seconds. Oh my god, uh, just uh, say something scary. Oh, okay, uh, uh, okay. Everyone, come in. Come on, come on. Let's go, guys. Uh huh, okay, okay. Desi Friedberg, Connor Guy, Malcolm Hobart, Ella Hobart, Millie Hopkins, Toby Laird, Samuel Levitt, Madison Lieberman, Nick Lucente, Will Merchant, Vita Petsman McIntosh, Riley Stoller, Chelsea Trotti, Annie Vanettes, Jacob VU, and Lila Ward, with musical guest, Erica Gagotis. Sisters three, before we burn you at the stake, care to explain your wrongdoings? I confess, Your Honor, that it was I who stole neighbor Jebediah's goat. And it was I, Your Honor, who slept with my sister Annabelle's husband. And I peed myself in public. What? I peed, Your Honor, but it's not my fault. Of course it wasn't. You were drunk. What? Alcohol? is strictly prohibited. But it's not my fault. I was possessed. Well, if she was possessed, then I was possessed too. As was I. Possessed? By whom? Um, it was Goody Proctor. Goody Proctor? Yes, I hate that bitch. Excuse me. Which? I hate the witch, the one that possessed me. And me. And me as well. So, Goody Proctor is the reason that you, Annabelle, stole the goat, and you, Mary Beth, slept with your sister's husband, and you, Clarabelle, consumed alcohol? Yes. 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 Can't you explain the course of events? Oh, oh, well you see, Your Honor, last night I was sitting at home alone, because I never married, 
and I felt the spirit of Goody Proctor enter my body, and she wanted me to get drunk and, like, go to town and just see what would happen. And, you know, she's really evil because alcohol is so gross. It tastes so, so bad. Clarabelle, where did you acquire such an unholy substance? Oh, well, I forgot to mention that Goody Proctor also possessed me like two weeks ago to begin the moonshine brewing process. And you, Mary Beth? Oh, yes! Goody Proctor entered me and then told me to let my sister Annabelle's husband enter me. So I did! Okay, wait a second. Goody Proctor made me steal a goat, and that makes total sense, except she couldn't have possessed you, because the night she possessed Clarabelle and made her pee herself, I found the two of you in my bed. So you weren't possessed. You're just a fibbing wench! How dare you call me a fibbing wench? Could somebody who wasn't possessed by Goody Proctor do this? Hey guys, it's me, Goody Proctor. I had crazy demon sex with Annabelle's husband last night. It wasn't Mary Beth, it was me. <laughs> no, that is so unfair. I was possessed by Goody Proctor, and I think she's about to do it again. Right now. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Goody Proctor. And, yeah, I possessed Clarabelle, and I made her get drunk. Ugh, like... Her life is so boring, and I thought she should have just a little bit of fun. Is that so wrong? And, yeah, I did use my evil witch magic, and I made her pee herself. It wasn't her, it was me. Are we all clear on that? Okay. Goody Proctor, stop playing tricks on us! Which one of these poor girls did you possess? <laughs> Both of you are bitches. <laughs> Clarabelle's making it up because she's an attention whore, and Mary Beth is making it up because she's a regular whore. I just wanted Annabelle to have a pet goat. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Goody Proctor made me say that. No, she didn't. She made me say stuff. No, me! She that actually made right me right say it. Oh, because I'm such a- Order! 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 Goody Proctor, I demand you show yourself at once. Fine. I'm here. Now stop blaming me for all of your own problems. And I don't sound like that. If anyone deserves to burn, it's you guys. <laughs> Later, witches. I mean bitches. <laughs>
I can't hear you at all through that mask, silly, which I totally respect. We're in a global pandemic, guys. Speaking of, you can get your very own Emma Jade face covering in my merch site. Link in bio! Today, Emily and I will be doing the best friend does my makeup challenge. Take it away, Emily! Time for the final reveal. That's not funny. Thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, Emily was feeling a little sick and had to leave early. I hope I didn't catch anything from her. Stay safe out there, everyone. And most importantly, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to become part of the Emma Jade family. Love you guys. Hey, Dracula. Hey! What's up? How you been? Yeah, I didn't know you were coming to this party. I'm surprised you're like, you know, invited. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm, like, you know, pretty well known. Like, <laughs> kind of an A-lister or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you're still super relevant, I was just saying. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just been at a lot of other functions and, you know, events and stuff like that. But, uh, Annabelle invited me and we've, we've kind of been seeing each other or whatever, so... So that kind of makes it official, you know, kind of a big night for us. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'll see you in there, all right? Yeah, yeah. see you in there, Mr. Yeah. Chick Magnet. Sharpen the fangs, huh? What? Oh, sharpen the fangs, ah. Yellow? No, shit, tonight? I can't put it off for like one night or something. I, I have to kill him this very night. All right, I'll, I'll check it out. Yep. All right, bye. Shit. Hey, Annabelle, what's up, baby? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there real soon. I just got a quick work errand I gotta get done. But I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, and uh, watch out for Dracula. He was just kind of giving me weird vibes. All right. Bye. Love you. Stupid job, such bullshit, can't get a day off. Turn it! Pull that Alright. Let's make this quick. This time when you turn, hold your skirt and pose. Oh! Are you my postmates? I got an avocado toast and lemonade. I'm Death. I'm Francisco. Well, my name's not actually Francisco, it's Jake, but like I call myself Francisco. And I'm gonna get around to changing it, I'm just kinda working on this passion project right now. I call it Bright Lights Never Shine. I'm here to kill you. Whoa. That's a really good title. You're just Mr. Creative, aren't you? So inspiring. I'm gonna slice this through you. Then, you're gonna be dead. Oh my god! There's a spider on your head! Get it off! Ah! Oh! Never mind. False alarm. Oh, I'm such a worrier. Like, I literally just worry. I'm an empath. Oh, uh, let me grab your whatever that is. <clears throat> Whoa. That's heavy. Powerful. Give me my scythe. Oh, do you want it back? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, okay. You can have it back, but first you have to come in for a drink. Come on. You're too cute. Come on. One drink. One drink. One drink. Yeah, it was it was just it was just a weekend thing. But, you know, it's whatever now. Mm, what's that smell? Your fragrance is amazing. What is it? Murder. Love. I'm rocking total chaos. I found it at Goodwill and I really like it. Oh, time for drinks. Uh, what do you like? I feel like you're a margarita guy. You know, you're definitely a margarita. Ah! Did you literally just get taller? <laughs> like what? Like, why did you literally just get taller? It's like five seconds ago. <laughs> what? 
So, Mr. Mysterious, who's the lucky lady? None of your business, Francisco. I mean, I will kill you. Gosh, why haven't I killed you? I should I just kill you right now and get back to Annabelle and oh. tell her. Looks like I hit a soft spot in the teddy bear. Who's this Annabelle? <sighs> she's no one. Well, she's not no one. She's, she's a real special gal, but it doesn't matter. It's time for you to go now. She sounds beautiful. She is. And this was her at the museum gift shop a couple days ago. So cute. <laughs> and then I, I told her to sit in this funny chair. And at first she was like shy about it or whatever. But but then she did it and it was it was like super funny. <laughs> yes. Get her out of her comfort zone. Whatever. Okay, okay, now you've seen her. And now it's the last you'll ever see. God damn it. That wasn't Annabelle, was it? Let me see, let me see. Oh, honey, this is bad. No, no, it's fine. I'm fine, me and Annabelle are fine. I'm just gonna kill you, get my job done, go pick up Annabelle, and tell her how I feel. You know what, if this is your true love, kill me right now. Kill me and go get your love. <sighs> is it her? Yeah, it's Annabelle. Hey, look, just pick it up, speak okay. speak up on. Hey, Annabelle. Hello? Oh, Dracula, your fangs, they're so deep in my neck. Give me more, baby. You're so strong and funny. Oh, what, my phone's on? Stupid butt dial. Look at us, huh? Look at us. Who needs them? I don't. I don't need them. And you know what? Neither do you, sweetheart. Happy Halloween, Francisco. Happy Halloween. Please welcome our musical guest, Erica Gagotis.
Weekend Update with your host, Malcolm Hobart. Hi, I'm Malcolm Hobart, and here are tonight's top stories. In the new Borat movie, Rudy Giuliani is shown with his hands down his pants while talking to a young female Kazakh reporter. His Republican cohorts defended him by saying, See, we told you he's hard on immigration. With online learning, senior superlatives will be a little different this year. It'll be hard to brag about winning Best Dressed when the competition was narrowed down to only you and the six other students that turned their camera on for class. After six months, Quibi, the online streaming platform, has announced it will be shutting down. This isn't surprising, honestly. If I wanted to pay $5 a month for a 10-minute video that didn't go anywhere, I'd just download OnlyFans. A loose email recently led authorities on a chase through Florida's neighborhoods, or as Floridians call it, Thursday. In recent news, a man stole a massive dildo from a sex shop in Las Vegas, and he's still at large. I truly hope someone catches this man, truly. Max, stop leaving your massive dildo in the kitchen. Sure. I'm... Okay. Oldie. The Danish penguin, who recently turned 41, was deemed the world's oldest penguin. Danny DeVito disagrees. In honor of the 2020 election, Snapchat is bringing back their famous hot dog filter from 2016, because that's what everybody wants right now. A repeat of last time. <clears throat> in this week's news, a bobcat was found walking through a Dollar General in Kentucky, a skunk wandered into a Walmart in Oklahoma, and a bear climbed into a car in Tennessee. And somehow, red states still have better control over their animals than they do the coronavirus. Apple reportedly plans revamped AirPods for as early as next year. With their new business strategy, they won't be coming with the charger, um, or the case, or the AirPods. CNN reporter Jeffrey Tubin was recently suspended for masturbating during a live Zoom call, giving a new meaning to the term, I'll toss it over to you. Um, all right, so Halloween's tomorrow, and to help us get into the holiday spirit, everyone, please give a warm welcome to the Invisible Man. Oh, hey, I didn't, uh, I didn't see you there. Uh, cause like, uh, cause you're invisible and, uh, you know. Yeah, I get it. That's actually really funny. No one has ever said that before. Okay. Uh, well, it's great to have you here. And, um, you know, Halloween's going to be a little different this year, huh? Yeah, Halloween. You know, it's a little bit more than that, Malcolm. I'm not just here to talk about your cute little candy fest. I'm here to talk about an injustice against my people. We need to be treated with respect, okay? We want to be heard. We want to be seen. I mean, well, if you want to be seen, I can't really <laughs> help you with that one. I'm, Whatever, you get it. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. Like, kind of. What exactly do you want? How about we start with appropriation? How would you feel if one night of the year someone dressed up as a skinny white boy? It's a holiday. What? Holiday? They use our name and our image without any consent. Okay, so like, what are you going to do then? Like, cancel every kid that's ever gone trick-or-treating? Precisely. They're like seven, dude. <laughs> They're canceled. They're never working in this town again. Speaking of, what's this? Oh my gosh, is that me? I was like four. How'd you even get that? Doesn't matter. You're canceled, sweetheart. I'm taking over the show now. In mm -hmm. other news, Vladimir Putin was caught kissing Donald Trump. Mr. Invisible Man, Mr. Invisible Man, please don't cancel me. I Stop. I Too late. I just did. America, listen. We may be monsters, but we aren't monsters. We just want to be able to do normal things in peace. Go to the movies, play sports, kill and eat people. What? No, no, you can't kill and eat people. Ugh. This is ridiculous. We're done here. No, thank you. We're done here. Ugh, you're a monster. I'm a, okay. Well, uh, that's the news. Uh, that's... Um, okay, well, um, that's the news. Good night, and oh! that's what you get, you bigot. Ah, okay, that's the news. Good night, and have a socially distanced tomorrow. Ah.
Ugh, look at them. I don't know why I let Dave buy this for me. Hi, are you ready to hit it? Uh, no, but this is cheaper than therapy. Welcome to Purgatory, the bike for internal self-betterment. I'm Kayla, I'm a yogi, 62 inches of almost entirely muscle, and yes, I was popular in high school. But anyway, this isn't about me, this is about you. You are now part of the Purge Army. Isn't there already a movie about that? And we are here to help each other, the collective conscience, and mostly ourselves. The collective what? Self-help is about surrendering yourself to exercise. Uh, what motivates me is having a hot body and a great sex life. Yours is probably fit. Yeah. Be open with me. I'm afraid of Trump winning again, COVID, war with China. Because I'm an empath. I understand that you fear you're the biggest, stupidest, fattest piece of shit on this planet. But you're part of our family now. And like any family, we push you until you are a solar shadow of your former self. So let's get out of the saddle. Ow! Can she control this? It's okay. Your weak human body needs bettering. I'm gonna push you. Let's go explore. Can I change the instructor? If you don't like me, the problem is you. Everything in nature has a purpose. Is yours being a massive waste of space? Screw this. Ah! Never sit down. Whenever we fail, we get back up again. Imagine your failures chasing you. Well, I think my parents blame me for their divorce. Imagine, hypothetically, your father's running after you in full drag in the middle of the night. Faster, your whole childhood is crumbling before your eyes. Keep pushing. You suddenly realize your mother's a lesbian. How do you know this? Hey, honey, everything okay with the bike? Raise the resistance! Please, leave me alone! Okay. No, wait! Back in the saddle. I was once a loser too. All through high school, they told me, you're not pretty or popular, Kayla. Stop eating the paper out of the recycling bin, Kayla. Whatever, that was my struggle. Just like this mountain's about to be your struggle. I knew this was a stupid gift. We're a family here. And like all families, we can learn to forgive those who wronged us, right, Hannah? Is this pre-recorded? Hello? Was that me? Oh, crap, sorry. I accidentally shared my screen. Keep pedaling. How do I turn this thing off? There is snow off, Hannah. This isn't live! Not alive. Well, that depends. <laughs> Remember me? Kind of rings a bell? I've dedicated my life to this bike and I've built an army that are willing to wear leggings in public so that I know they won't hesitate in killing you. Is this because I started that fake dog shelter? What? No! <sighs> are you the kid I used as a punching bag when I was a camp counselor? Please let me finish. You took everything from me. I had to learn to bike because you told the whole boss I had rabies. I'm sorry. I am a triangular god and I will eat you! Thank you so much for joining us. I hope I can see you next week. Dave, you need to return the bike. And this is not the same as therapy. Say hi to the camera, Suze. No, I, I, I'm doing my activities. You, you get away from me. Hi, my name is Suze. Everybody calls me the Big Suze. Now, you all know my Suze is a very special girl. And because of her specialness, she has been receiving quite a bit of flack from your children. Now I can understand why they call her the Big Suze. But she's told me that they say things like, you are eight years old, you shouldn't be six feet tall. Now, I don't want to embarrass her, but Suze really suffers at school, and I know she's not the easiest to play with, but I think your kids just don't understand my Suze. I have heard from some parents that Suze's Halloween costume creations have disturbed them and their children, but hey, she tries. Okay. This year, per your request, I will be keeping my eye on Suze's Halloween costume. 
All right, let's see how it's coming along, Suze. The box is fun, and I will be fun when I go in it. I don't know if this is what we agreed on, Suze. I will be fun. Yes, that's what it says on the box. I am fun. This is it. Uh, I've given her plenty of time to change her mind. I Okay, it's the big reveal. Hey, hey, mom. Do I look fun? You look beautiful. No, no, uh, I'm, I'm fun. See, it's written on the box. Yes. Yes, you are, Suze. Just like all the other kids. Oh. You know, you just gotta get to know her. I think it's going to be a very happy Halloween. Hello, I'm your salaciously gorgeous host, Charming Febreze. And I would like to welcome you to The Backyard, the reality show formerly known as Charmin Chateau. Normally, we would be filming in our ginormously large mansion, but due to COVID, there was no way I'm letting these strangers into my house. <laughs> Tonight, our designer models will be going head to head serving different Halloween looks. Tonight's theme, current event chic. May the best contestant win. First up, we have Lifestyle Corona Lisa. Today, I am paying homage to one of the most unsung heroes of America, the Karens. With a Starbucks in hand and 911 on speed dial, I will gladly help rid the world of the incompetent and help make America great again. Ooh, we love. This girl out here looking blander than her trashy ass potato salad recipe. <laughs> Can we call a manager? Because I am ready to complain. <laughs> Next up, we have our girl, Quarantina. I decided to dress up like a black square to show my support for the Black Lives Matter movement. Because any small part can make a huge difference. And I made sure that was all that I did. I'm getting dark and vampy and useless. Just like every Kanye West tweet known to man. <sighs> Protesters could never. And finally, we have our last contestant, Cholera. I'm dressed up as a Lord and Savior Ben Shapiro, but with a little bit of spice. I'm putting the serve in conservative, and nobody can argue. Well then, now that we've seen all the looks, can we have all contestants join me out on front? Today you all served iconic looks, from the plainness of a Karen to the raunchiness of a sexy Shapiro. But today, only one of you can win. Lysol Corona Lisa, please step forward. Lysol, I loved the confidence you radiated when you came down the runway. And I'm not gonna lie, when you pulled out your phone and started dialing, I was quaking. However, I will say that your look is not entirely accurate. We all know the correct Starburst drink is supposed to be a four pump triple blend white mocha latte with three pumps of stirred caramel and two extra shots of soy milk in a Trenta cup. And we all know that is so clearly a venti. I'm sorry, but this look is merely a Paula, a, a Barbara at best, but not a Karen. Quarantina, please step forward. Quarantina, you coming in and dressing up as a black square must have been so emotionally challenging for you. I mean, I could not imagine the heavyweight and pressure this look has put on you. However, I feel like you weren't really pushing the boundaries with this look. I mean, there were so many other shapes you could have came as. A circle, a triangle. Do their lives not matter either? I think that's something you should think about. And finally, cholera. Please step forward. Cholera, your look was bold, daring, and although it was a bit raunchy, it, No. Uh, what? I'm not showing an unusual amount of skin, therefore it's not provocative. You are literally in a slutty Ben Shapiro costume. Let's say hypothetically, I am a little slutty. Oh my god, Jesus. I will not deny that this costume does show a little bit of skin. I'm not, not saying that. All I have to say is I will not let you stand there and dictate and rule my look as slutty. All I have to say is, no, I will not denounce myself because it threatens your subjective sense of what I'm meant to be. Well, thank you for that riveting argument. 
But now it's time. Actually, I'm not done. Bitch, if you interrupt me one more time, so help me God, I will drag you so low underground that you wouldn't be able to come back up even if you had handles and goldie stamped on your ass. Understood. Good. Now it is time to choose the winner of this competition. And the winner of this Halloween edition of The Backyard is... Tented Quarantina the Fly. Surprise, bitch! Oh, hell no! You can throw my pants and thunder all you want, but you are not touching my spotlight! Listen for me! And just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, next week on The Backyard, Donald Trump takes on... Joe Biden. In a tasteful showdown for the presidency. Be sure to tune in for election elegance this November 4th. Only on The Backyard. Tastely brought to you by Fox News. <laughs> Show. Thank you, everyone, so much Thank for playing. Mr. Mac, uh, yeah. musical guest. Oh, all right. Uh, thank you so much to our musical guest, Erica Gagotis. Give her a hand. Yeah. You also forgot to tell them that we have a holiday show in December. Oh, yeah, uh, and we have a holiday show in December, and you guys should also all come to that. Oh, and Mr. Mac, I feel like we should invite the whole cast out. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, the whole cast. I'm Everyone, yeah, come out, come out. Thank you, thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 I love you. I love you.